hi guys good morning please don't mind my face i'm not sure what exactly i'm reacting to <sighs> it's been <laughs> crazy since the last time i picked up the camera this is about two months after men people are wicked like very very wicked if you have a sincere agent and you're based in abakeriki you better just thank god it has really opened my eye to the wickedness of human heart so i decided to check by myself i've prayed about it and i have the faith that the holy spirit is going to go ahead and make every crook to a straight for me jesus name amen so let me take you guys along so you guys see the struggle so when i eventually find the best accommodation you guys would have followed me along with the testimony from a to z so let's go See the view guys, check out the view. The view is beautiful. <laughs> What's beautiful about this view? Many hours later. Oh my guys, my legs are a mess. Oh my see me and this this baby girl here, we have suffered today. Please see we should let her for me. We have walked around the whole abakaliki. Thank God it's not fruitless. Collected some phone numbers and we are on our way to another location. I just hope everything will turn out smooth after all this work. In Jesus' name, amen. So the work continues. Many hours later. Hi guys, I just got back home. I am all shades of exhausted right now. I've trekked literally around the whole Abafiliki, but thank God it was not in vain. I have seen some leads and they told me to wait till the end of the month to see if someone packs out. There are certain people in these compounds that are more likely to pack out by the end of the month. So fingers crossed. I'm just hoping one of it works out for my good. I've prayed about it so in as much as I'm worried as a human being is supposed to be worried, I still have that innermost peace of mind in my spirit that god is going to work something out for my good i just hope it works out well god please because these locations are so good that i'll not have to worry about spending transport every single day i can actually trek if i want to so let's see how it goes the next time i pick up this camera hopefully it will be good news in jesus name amen Four to six weeks later hi guys good morning hmm. It's been long. It's been months. <laughs> long story short, I was actually given a quit notice and I have till the end of this month to pack out of this house and up till now I've not been able to get a place. The people that I was hoping on, they kept on telling me, don't worry, they will pack out, they will pack out and nothing yet. I know I've prayed about this. I have talked to God about this. My normal human self is afraid of what is going to happen if this quiz notice you know expires it expires that the right word I'm not sure of what it's called and i'm still in this house i'm scared but at the same time i trust god i know that god is working something out for me so another long story short my classmate introduced me to her friend that he could help me find a place so he called me last night and told me that there is a place that he has seen i should come see it if i'll be interested in the place so let's go together just hoping that i would like that place at this point my standards have been lowered heavily because i really don't want to be stranded but i'm just hoping that the house turns out at least manageably better than where i'm currently staying so let's go guys this one no this one is an assist it's not that bad but the compound and this place here is not that's what i'm looking at this place here is not bad that's a good one that's a good one that's a a few moments later. Many hours later. Guys, I know you can see from my face I look very tired. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I finally paid for this last place that you saw. I love the fact that it has kitchen cabinet and it's a new build. Then it has a small space for wardrobe, 
I'm just grateful to God because this is exactly what I prayed for. The other house that I saw was just a huge no for me. I didn't like the environment. I didn't like the fact that the balcony was not tiled and the place was just giving me insect vibe like you know the, all this ant hill kind of place it was not okay so i eventually found this last house and yes i know it's a little bit above my budget but i love it i love the fact that it's brand new i'm just really happy about the place generally so i've paid it's my house key <laughs> i am going to start packing in little by little from tomorrow and i'll take you guys along with me look guys don't be in a hurry to jump and accept something that is below your standard just because you're impatient to wait for what god has for you i believe if i had accepted all these other places that i'd seen earlier on i would have really regretted on the long run after seeing this new place i just want to encourage you guys whatever you're trusting god for trust him and he's definitely not going to fail you he did not fail me i'm very happy with what i've gotten so see you guys tomorrow when the packing begins bye the next day Ah, hi guys, this is move in day finally. Yay, my friend is here. I'm here. Come and say hi. She's helping me to pack my things. So I just want to go check, confirm because yes, yeah, so yesterday the toilet flusher was not fixed, and then the kitchen cabinet for the wall was not fixed. So hi. <laughs> I want to go and confirm it's fixed. Once it's fixed, then we'll pack in. So guys, I'm here and they've not fixed this kitchen cupboard yet. This cupboard is supposed to be here and here. And then see this place here. It's supposed to be, look at my hand can pass. There's supposed to be something that will block that up part. Then for here, they've not fixed this toilet system yet. So I don't just understand. A few moments later. Hi guys, I just got back home now and I had to branch Chicken Republic because guys, this life, a uh, chop life before life chop you. I'm really exhausted. I discovered that so many things in the house have not been fixed, but I'm not even going to wait. They have given me this month end to pack out and I just have to move out. So whatever is left in the house, they will have to do it while I'm still in the house. Probably the next time I pick up the camera, we'll be moving the... Bye!